Live streaming changed my life forever. When I first got started online, I had zero audience. All I had was my friends from high school and friends from college that were connected to me on Facebook. But when live stream came out, it literally changed the direction of my life forever. And today we're going to talk about it. Welcome to the Kia Kelly podcast, because that's me. Every single week, we will be here talking about business, marketing your business, as well as life and anything that can throw at us. Because one thing I know is, is that when I've been building my business, I am involved in my business. And so I like to help people understand what it all is going to take to build a successful business and have a balanced life. And so here on the podcast, some of the days you're going to absolutely love me. And then other days, you're going to want to throw me away with the trash because you don't want to be bothered with me. But either way, you're going to get your whole life together when you're here on this podcast. So I encourage you to grab your tea and grab your coffee because the Key and Kelly podcast is here. Welcome back to another episode of the Key and Kelly podcast, where we talk about all things business, marketing your business, and having a balanced life. Uh, today, we are having a conversation all about um, live streaming. Now you will notice that this week I feel a whole lot better. Like last week I sounded like a man, nothing wrong with being a man, but I sounded like a man. And this week I sound a lot better. Thank God. Um, but so I'm feeling a lot better probably cause I went to this conference and took this turmeric shot. Good Lord. But that's a whole nother conversation for another day. Today we are talking about live streaming and should you be using live stream to grow your business. Now, I understand that we all have different confidence levels uh, as it pertains to the camera, that there are some that are just like, give me the camera, turn it on, I am there, right? There are some that are like, it's not my favorite thing to do, but I will do it because it helps me with my business. And then there are those that are like, there is no way. I just started recording videos. The last thing I want to do is go live because I don't know what's going to happen when I am live. Like who's going to come into the room? What's going to happen? What are people going to say? You know, there's all different types of people when it comes to the thought process of live streaming. Uh, But I want to talk to you about, of course, how I feel about it. So oftentimes people feel like that because I have this big personality that I lack fear. And that's not the case, okay? My personality is my personality, but fear is fear. Fear is something totally different. And everybody deals with fear at some level, at some point in time in their life and all the things. I deal with fear all the time. Last week, I was speaking at a a corporate conference and I was so nervous. I mean, I was nervous before I got there. I was nervous when I got there. I was nervous like watching everybody teach because I was just like, Here was this industry that I just did not know whatsoever. And I was like, how am I going to deliver my talk that is going to serve that audience when I don't really understand them? And so I was just like, if this is going to go well, I've got to sit here in all of these sessions. And so I sat in sessions for hours, just listening and learning. So that way, when I got up to give my talk, I had certain language, but there's fear that we all deal with. Now, when it comes to live streaming, In my opinion, live streaming can change your entire life, okay? And one of the ways I know this is because I watched someone's life change when they were live. So there was a girl I used to know years ago, and she had started out on Periscope, but she was just teaching, just trying to figure out how to make money online. And she was doing what she was doing for a little while, but there was someone who was extremely famous, extremely well-connected that just so happened to join in on her live stream. And as a result, she reached out to her and told her to connect with me, yada, 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 whatever. Fast forward, she ends up connecting with her with so many amazing people. I mean, just incredible people and her life changed forever because of live stream. And so for me, when I was watching that, I was like, I do not have an audience. All I have is a dream. I'd always had a dream of being able to work for myself, making a lot of money, helping a lot of people, but I had no idea how that was going to happen. I had a full-time job working for Sprint Corporate and I was like, I don't really know how this is going to work. But I just remembered that the girl that I knew, she was on live stream. 
And so I logged onto the pair, the app, app called Periscope back in the day. And I was just like, I don't really know what I'm talking about. I don't really know what's going to go on here, but I'm, I'm just going to try. And I remember getting on live and nobody being there lots of times. Um, some people would join in and then they would leave. But I had this thought process of what if I just stick with this for a little while? There's other ways to try to build a business too. And I'll try them as well. But what if I just stick with this for a period of time? And so I chose to stick with it for, I think it was like six to nine months. And I was going live every single day. And during that time frame, Facebook live came out. So then I started to multi-stream. I had one phone that was on that was like, you know, had service and I would stream on that one. And then another phone that I just happened to have at my house, I had it on Wi-Fi, and then I would double stream on both of them. One on Periscope and one on Facebook. And what happened was I started to just teach and talk. One million dollars in 12 months. That is what happened to Mercedes as a result of learning how to use short form video to market her mystery shopping business. You heard that right. She has a mystery shopping business teaching people, moms, how to mystery shop. And she learned how to use short form video. We had the pleasure of working with her inside of one of our challenges, and we have just been following up ever since and watching her success. Now, you may be someone and you're saying to yourself, I have a business or have a business idea, and I want to start marketing it on social media using short form video, whether this is TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, whichever. You want to learn the strategies of not just creating videos, but actually converting it into sales. You don't care about just getting a bunch of followers. You want to make more money in your business and you want to do it with ease. Well, the doors to our course, Vertical Video Mastery is officially open and you're getting an opportunity for us to be able to work together with you in your business. Now on the inside of this course, what happens is that everything is pre-recorded for every single platform that is Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube. But more importantly, you are going to spend eight weeks with me. You got that right. Eight straight weeks live. So you'll get a chance to go inside the course, watch videos and all the tutorials and all that. But each week you get to come on live with me and you get to ask me specific questions about your business. Because one of the things that we do in the beginning is we work on marketing funnels and you probably have some specific questions about your funnels, your, your upsell offers, and maybe even your audience and all the things. And so all of this is going to be covered on the inside of Vertical Video Mastery Course, but we only open for a small window of time. So at the time that you're listening to this, we are officially open. And if you want to join us or get more information, just go to verticalvideomastery.com. That is verticalvideomastery.com. And we are going to work together for two months, helping you to be able to build a business online and be able to make money so that you can do what you really want to do. And what ended up happening was like a couple people would come on and then I would ask them, would you mind sharing this with people that you know? And the good thing about that is that if you are live and people are enjoying it and they are able to hit the share button, then you are going to actually hit a brand new audience. So, because like I said earlier, the only people that were following me were those from high school and college. So they necess weren't necessarily my target audience. So when I was live, I was able to tell people to share, 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 share. And when they shared, it brought more people to me that did not know me. And over time, me continuously doing that helped me to be able to build an online audience. Now, now this is not like it happened overnight. This was a consistent thing that I had to do every single day. Like I literally, ch I, I literally chose to do this every single morning for an hour. I would get on from 8.30 to 9.30, sometimes 9.15, and I would teach and talk. And multiple times during the live stream, I would tell people to share. Because here is the deal. When you are live, there are people that are watching, right? And there are people that are watching that are connected to other people that are not necessarily, they don't know you exist. So then if you are live and you're telling the people that are watching to share, then now you're going to reach their people. Okay. And so then eventually some of those people are going to be connected to you. And then when you're live again, you can tell those people to share. That is what ended up happening. Okay. That is how we started to build an online audience of creating content, inviting people to share, and then over and over again. 
That's the same thing that happened with us over on TikTok. When I first got to uh, where I could live stream on TikTok, I started to say, hey, if you wouldn't mind, hit share. And then I would tell them, how to share the video, right? And then people would share and share. And I started connecting with even more people over on TikTok. And that's how that started to grow there as well. Now, the thing why I feel like everybody should be live streaming one, like I said, you can grow an online audience, but two, like when people are live with you, it's a really great opportunity to share what it is you have to offer. Okay. It's a really good opportunity to share what you have to offer because here's the deal. We all know that the platforms do not like us to say, click the link in my bio. We know that because we all have experienced content suppression on all of them when we're driving people to our bio link. But here's the deal with live stream that doesn't happen on live stream. When you're live and you're telling people to click the link in your bio, you're not penalized. I have not ex experienced it being penalized at all telling people to click the link in my bio when I'm on live stream. And oftentimes we give away a lot of things for free, which is like, what well, it's a 75 hooks to create um, a short vertical, short vertical video, or it could be TikTok for female coaches, or it could be one of our templates. We're often always sharing with people how they can grab our free tools and also our paid products at the link in my bio when I am live. Okay. And oftentimes I, if I'm selling something, I have like my Apple watch here and my Apple watch has only a few different notifications, right? It's calls, it's texts. And then one of them is PayPal. Okay. So when anybody makes a purchase from us via PayPal, my watch gets a notification. So a lot of times when I'm on live stream, if I'm selling something that has a, a limit, right? So like right now we have our course, which is called the vertical video mastery where we're teaching teaching you all about Instagram reels and TikTok marketing for your business. And with this course, um, the first like 20 people get a free one-on-one -on -one call, right? The first 20 people. And so what was happening is that when I've been teaching this live and promoting that course, I'm getting the notifications of people buying the course. Okay. So I could say this person bought the course and this person bought the course, I get their name and all that. And then once we sell out, of those 20 spots, I can then say, all right, guys, we've got three spots left. We've got two spots left. We got one spot left. And what does that do? That creates FOMO. It's the truth. It's not lying. It's the truth that I'm telling people this person just bought, this person just bought. And then it makes people move into action a lot quickly, the quicker. But also when you are selling things live, whether you have a limit on it or not, if people are buying and you're able to say, Hey, John just bought, Stephanie just bought, Teresa Teresa just bought, Tiffany just bought. It's telling people that are watching people want this and they like this and they're buying this. And then it also can encourage another person to go ahead and buy. So I know that live stream can feel daunting. Live stream can feel like it's the end of the world that like, what are you going to do? Like how in the world are you going to be able to do what it is that you're trying to, that I'm trying to tell you to do on live without fainting, without, um, without fumbling or whatever. And the truth is, is that live stream is very similar to just being in your home by yourself filming a video, because here's the truth. When you're live, there's no one in the house with you. There's no one in your office. It's still just you. The only thing is that people are live. You see the live comments, you see people coming in and going out, but you just have to like say to yourself, you're safe. You're in your home or wherever you are streaming. There's nobody there. Nobody is there with you. It's just people watching and everything that happens on that camera is up to you. Okay. So you don't have to do anything you don't want to do, right? That's like right now you cannot see that I'm wearing a dress that goes above my knee. You can't see that I don't have on lotion on my feet. You cannot see that I'm wearing my red fuzzy slippers or that my 15 year old cat is sitting underneath my legs. You can't see any of that. Why? I have showed you what I want you to see. All you can see is me, this chair, and there's a cat over there. You can see this mic and you can see whatever you can see here. And that is all I am safe. No one can come in and do anything that I don't want them to do. And that's the same thing that goes for you. But what we can do is that we can serve an audience of people 
live. We can make offers to our paid or free products live without worrying about content suppression or the algorithm or anything like that. Okay. And so especially if you are new to building an online audience, it is really important to know that you've got to build. That means you've got one brick and you've got to find another brick and another brick, and another brick before you can build a house. And one of the easiest ways to build and fast and sell at the same time is live stream. Now, obviously I teach short vertical video, like Instagram reels and TikTok. I am pro pro pro, but I still go live on a regular basis on Instagram or TikTok. Actually right now, while we are filming this podcast and this YouTube video, we are live on TikTok. Hey TikTok. Okay. Why? Because it's available, right? And so I'm like, if people want to come and watch and listen, I'm going to give them that opportunity. And it's a really great way to connect with your audience. Okay. It's a great, really great way for those that are, because like I'm filming this for YouTube and for the podcast, but TikTok may not know that I have a podcast. They may not know that I have a YouTube channel, but as they're watching me right now, talk about this podcast and this YouTube, some people may say, Oh, I'm going to go and check her out and get her podcast. I'm going to go and check her out on YouTube or whatever. But also they may be saying, well, how do we get into that course that she mentioned? Okay. And so live stream is a huge way for you to be able to grow your business this year. So my encouragement is that if you are thinking about streaming and you're, you have an Instagram, you have a Facebook and all that, I would encourage you to use StreamYard, okay? Because StreamYard is going to allow you to be able to stream on multiple platforms. You can str stream horizontally, you can stream vertically, all that. Usually when I stream from my desktop, I'm usually live on my first my Facebook business page, my personal page, my Facebook groups, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I'm live at eight different places on a one stream all because of TikTok. And what does that do? That gives me more bang for my buck. It lets me serve as many people as possible on all the platforms. And then if I make an offer, I'm making an offer to a ton of people all at one time. And all that is on StreamYard. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to actually put a link to StreamYard um, in the description here on YouTube and in the show notes on the podcast. And you can get the free version 100%. And then when you're ready, you can upgrade. Okay. So I hope that you found this episode valuable. If you have any questions about live streaming, come on YouTube and ask me in the comments. I would love to help you. Okay. And so if you haven't subscribed yet on YouTube, be sure to do so. If you're not having downloaded the podcast, subscribe there as well. And so thank you so much for listening and watching. Thanks for listening to the Ken Kelly podcast. I'm always honored and thankful each time you choose to download and listen to an episode of this podcast, but also when you choose to share it with a friend, because one of the things that I know is that when I was building my business, it was so important for me to be surrounded by my minded people. And so when you choose to share our content with your friends, it allows them to be in our space as well, where we can nurture and mentor them as well. And we can just make some new friends. So if you wouldn't mind sharing, I would appreciate it so very much. But in addition to that, if you would do us a huge favor by writing a review and giving us five stars, it's going to tell Spotify, iTunes, and all the places that people are enjoying this podcast and that they should share it with more people. And so please share, please write a review, and thank you so much for listening.